Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Samvia. We're here in Montreal and we're shooting some epic editorial stuff for you guys. And we found this gorgeous room and we thought, what a great place to shoot some hot tip videos. So we're going to do a little series here for you. First thing we're going to go over is some face framing. A really common question that we get is, how do I add texture and movement around the face without necessarily taking away a lot of my perimeter length or adding a lot of excess layers to the haircut. So let's look at the doll head. Let's say we have, uh, we'll call her Emily. <laughs> and Emily has a fairly standard one length haircut. One of the things you want to get done during your consultation phase of your haircut is you want to find out with Emily how much she wants to happen here. And here's the thing is we need to make sure that we stay away from references such as inches because I'm going to ask you guys to all do me a favor out there in TV land. Show me an inch. Oh yeah, we got that. We got that. We got that. There's tons of different interpretations of what an inch is. So be cautious of using that as your reference point. Instead, what we suggest is that you talk about reference points on the face and throughout the hair shape. So here's what we're talking about. What we would do is in the consultation, we would say, okay, well, where do you see your best feature being? It's a great question to ask a guest. If she's like, oh, I love my cheekbones or I feel like I have a nice jawline. Well, how about we really accentuate it by we're going to point the face framing directly at it. So maybe we choose the cheekbone as one of our reference points. Maybe we choose the jawline as one of our reference points. So then we have a really specific agreement with our guest rather than I'm going to take an inch off. We say, I'm going to start your face framing through the cheekbone and we're going to finish your face framing here at the bottom. Now let's talk about the bottom reference point because this is also very important. Face framing could start at the cheekbone and it could go the whole way back to behind the shoulder. It could also come straight down this bottom edge and really end right at the perimeter. So you have to make sure that you're talking to them in a way that they understand that, okay, if I do a lot and I bring it back here, you're going to take away the strength of the perimeter on the front. So if they say, no, I want to keep that bob length, you have to figure out how to get quickly from your first ref reference point, let's say the cheekbone, to the front edge of the perimeter. So let's say that's the case. Here's a hot tip. We're going to grab our seven inch Sam Via Signature Series dry, cut, dry Cutting Shear. The reason for this is because we've specially designed this to be a great shear for cutting dry hair because it has more strength to the blade to be able to hold the density of dry hair and the blade actually has a texture to it that will grab hold of those hairs and really hold them tight. So as you're cutting through dry hair, you're not pushing it out of the shear really important tool. So let's say that we do have that cheekbone as our reference point and she does want to keep most of her perimeter length. Now if I come in and start lifting and layering, what I'm going to end up with is probably too much and I'm going to bring that layering too far back and I'm going to lose the strength and density on the front edge. And let's say she doesn't even have layers and she doesn't even want layers. So how do you get that movement? Here's the way you're going to do it is you're going to find your reference point and you're going to begin your fingers right there at the reference point. Just going to take a horizontal finger position there. Now what you'll notice is my fingers have also stopped at a point where if I cut all of that hair between there and there, if I remove all that hair, I'm going to be safe still. I'm still going to have a nice perimeter shape here without losing the strength of kind of that bob. You guys with me so far? Yeah, I heard you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in from behind and I'm going to use a talking movement here. So what I'll do is I'll place my thumb in and just open and close and open and close and open and close. And that's going to give me a way to talk down the hair strand. So I have my reference point. I'm going to bring my shears in behind. And what I'm going to need to do is just kind of slide my fingers down and put my shears right where my reference point was. And then I'm going to talk 
all the way down and see I'm moving down, moving down, moving down. Now when I get to there, see how my fingers are pointing right to where I want to finish. That's very important. So now I know that I need to target that point right there. So what we get is a nice soft face framing there. Let me rotate her around so you guys can see. We get a beautiful face frame without removing the density of that bob length. We had specific questions on that exact technique. We've had a lot of questions on just face framing in general. So we really hope that this helps answer some of those questions. I'm Andrew Carruthers coming to you from Montreal.